subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to work with redirects using the popular Python library, requests. Redirects occur when a server responds with a redirection status code, example 3xx, and instructs the client to follow a different URL. Make sure you have Python installed on your system. If not, you can download it from python.org. Additionally, install the requests library using HTTP redirects are used to instruct a client to fetch a resource from a different location. The most common redirect status codes are In this example, we define a function make underscore request that takes a URL, sends a get request, and processes the response. It checks for redirects using the response.history attribute. If there are redirects, it prints the number of redirects and the final URL. By default, requests follows redirects automatically. However, you can disable this behavior using the allow underscore redirects parameter. If you want to limit the number of redirects followed, you can use the max underscore redirects parameter. Handling redirects is a common scenario when working with web APIs and scraping. The requests library in Python provides a convenient way to handle redirects automatically and inspect the redirection history. Experiment with different URLs and observe the behavior of the code in response to redirects. This knowledge will be valuable when working on projects that involve web interactions in Python. ChatGPT